Yo, what up, boy games out there? The name's Second Heat, and I'm bringing you guys a vlog about something that I've heard that I just heard about um like two days ago. And basically, I was watching uh, Boogie Two Nine Eight Eight. If you guys do not know him, he's a very, very popular YouTuber. He's got over a million subs, and um, I like to watch a lot of his vlogs because he loves to talk about the gaming uh scene in it in all of itself. And I basically call him like the king of YouTube of gamers in general, the the king of all gamers. And basically, what he was talking about two days ago was he was talking about the console wars and how much it really doesn't matter so much of like all the hardware and stuff, but more about the games. And I thought about that. I'm just like, you know what? He brings up a pretty good point. Um. I used to be one of those people, well, during the be during the beginnings of uh, the Xbox One versus the PS4 before they started to come out. I used to be a very big part of the whole, um, which one's better. I was always favoring the PS4. I still favor it, um, excuse me, but every time I would hear one thing about, you know, the co about Xbox One versus PS4, I would jump straight into it. Um, especially with friends, and, you know, now that I think about it, um, you know, it really doesn't matter, so, it really doesn't matter which console is better, because in reality, all it really matters about is the games, and really, um, where your friends are at, uh, that's all that really matters about the, that really, all, that's all that really matters about console decision, you know, just because, one hard one's hardware is like slightly better PS4. Um, it doesn't really mean that that is the almighty console. That's the console that everybody should get. Um, because there's some people, um, especially some people that I know whose whose friends all have Xboxes, so they're not just gonna be like, nah, don't care. I'm still getting the PlayStation Four, even though sometimes that is still a good decision. Um, it still also means that you're not going to be able to hang with your friends and stuff online. So, in reality, with the console wars, the console wars is really just, it do, It shouldn't even matter. It shouldn't actually be a thing thing. Like, yeah, there could still be, like, debate on which one is technically better and stuff, but it shouldn't be something to, like, fight over, um, because... All it really is is just opinion, personal preference, and all that, all that stuff. You know, what, how you feel, like you know, you could feel like the Xbox One is better than the PS4. But on my side, I feel like the PS4 is better on the Xbox One. It doesn't mean it means absolutely nothing. You know, the console is still a console. Uh, people are still buying both. A lot of people are still buying both. Um, even though one over, the, even though one over the other, but you know. There, it still doesn't matter, you know. You still love your console. I still love mine. Uh, now another thing I want to talk about, um, you know, as far as the games and stuff, uh, something that actually matters. When you actually look at the games, um, I think at the moment Microsoft probably wins the games in a way. And the only reason why I say that is because of um, excuse me, I itch my nose. It's because of Titanfall. As you guys know, Titanfall is going to be this big, big FPS game that everyone's saying is going to be the COD killer. And, you know, as is, as something that's going to be the COD killer, that means many, 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 many people are going to be buying it. That means that this is going to be, like, one of the most popular games um, that, <clears throat> excuse me, that is about to come out. And... You know, with with that thought, uh, that could be the real game changer of who's gonna buy what. However, I think in like variety wise, I still have to go with Sony and their PS4 because there's so many stuff like Infamous, um, Killzone, The God of Wars. Even though I'm not sure if they're still, Ooh, my bad, didn't notice I saw my middle finger up. Um, even though I don't know if they're still making that, I think they're still thinking about making the God of Wars. Uh, we've got stuff like Ratchet and Clank. We've got, uh, I, I think the crew, I'm not sure if the crew is 
uh, PS4 only and stuff, but either way, like, once again, opinion-wise, I love the PS4 and their games and stuff, um, yeah, Titanfall is great and all, but at least it's good for PC, so if I ever do so I'm gonna get a good PC, um, I'll just, you know, have fun playing it on, on there, and besides PC, as Boogie said, and as everyone else always says, PC, Master Race, so, in reality, Console Wars is really just a war for second place, because everyone knows that PC is, like, the king of all gaming devices, so... Yeah, as I, so just to sum everything up, um, don't, if you're going to talk about console wars and stuff, it's good to have like a little debate over it, but it's something not worth fighting, fighting over, because in the end, it's all opinionated, and, you know, if you like something, then you like it, just get it, if someone else doesn't like it, that doesn't mean that they're wrong, that doesn't mean that they're stupid, it just means that they just prefer uh, something over that. And besides, another important thing is, you know, to make up, to make up your decision on which one to get. Just go for what all your what all your friends have, and if that's not enough for you, just get you know whichever one has the best exclusives. So yes, that has been everything, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Please let me know about what you guys feel about the console wars and if you think it's worth actually, actually fighting over. And yeah, until next time, this has been your boy Second Heat, and I'm out. Peace.